Hi, welcome to Chris Jenkins Golf Academy. Today we're at Crohn's Golf Centre in Essex and we're going to be having a look at chipping. And one of the big things that people ask me often is, should I use a wedge, a pitching wedge for every shot around the green? So should I stay with the same club or should I use different clubs? And today we're going to talk about why we might want to choose to use different clubs from around the green. Okay, so one of my favourite terms is minimum effort, maximum club which means that you want to put in as, as little effort as possible. We don't want to hit the ball hard when you're chipping, so we want to try and hit it as soft as possible, but we want the golf club to do as much of the work as possible. So we're going to use today, um, we've got pitching wedge, nine iron, eight iron, seven iron, and a six iron. And I've set up these tee pegs in the green. So the first tee is two paces onto the green. Okay, so that's around six feet. Uh, the second is an extra, another pace, another, another three foot, and so on. And so we've got, we've got 11 tees in the, in the green, um, which gives us 10 zones. And what we're going to try and do is stop the ball in each of the zones. The key, though, is that we're going to land the ball before the first tee for every single shot that we play. OK, so we're going to land the ball before the first tee to get to the first zone. I could even land it short of the green if I want to. And I've also got to land it before the first tee to get to the last zone which is a good 30, 35 feet further up the green. Okay, so first of all, what we're gonna do is get next to the ball. So, so we're gonna look at the decision-making process that goes into choosing the right club. We don't just wanna pick any old club out and then decide how we're gonna play it. We're gonna make sure we've got the right tool for the job. I've got a bag full of tools here, um, and that's how you wanna be thinking about it. If I gave you a, a, a plank of wood and a chisel, and I said, right, I want you to make a perfect hole in that plank of wood, please. There's your chisel, and off you go. Um, you might find it a bit difficult. So if I gave you the whole array of tools, and one of them was a drill, and I said, right, I want you to make a perfect hole in that piece of wood, um, you can use any of those tools, you're going to pick the drill. So it's the same thing with this. We're going to try and land the ball before the first tee and pick the right tool with the right club to get the ball up into the zone that we want to go to. So first thing we're going to do is Okay, where am I going to land the ball? And I want to try and visualise that myself. Now, like I say, it's got to be before the first tee. It can be before the green. You know, I might even putt this if I was playing golf, but for the sake of this um, exercise, we're going to be chipping. So what I'll do is, okay, I'll look at where I'm going to land the ball first, and I might, might just try and feel that first of all. So I'm just feeling how hard I might want to, want to hit that or where I might want to land the ball. Once I've picked that spot, and I'm going to pick just here on the edge of the, edge of the green, I'm then gonna think, okay, well, if I landed it there, what club might I use to get the ball into the zone? And so I'm gonna use my pitching wedge. The more lofted the club, the less the ball's gonna roll out. So for these short ones, we're gonna use the most lofted club that we can. You might wanna use a, you might even use a 60, you might use a 56, you might use a 52 degree. This is just a pitching wedge. So, okay, we're gonna use our chipping technique. So chipping technique is a uh, ball in the middle of this stance. Most important thing with chipping is that we're going to get um, hit the ball and then the ground after. So we want to make sure that we create a low point which is after the ball. For that, there's two ways you could do that. You could lean the shaft forward. That creates a downward strike. I, I, I don't like that as much because if, the more you lean the shaft, the more your right shoulder dips and the more likely you are to hit the ground first. So we're going to try and make sure that our, our, our sternum is a bit more to the left when we're chipping. Try and match your sternum up um, you're spying up with the, uh, the angle of the shaft if possible there rather than, than too much of a shaft lean. So we're going to get next to the ball, we've got a pitching wedge, we've got our landing spot. I'm going to have two or three swings, probably three, trying to focus on my landing spot. So I'm, 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 taking, I'm, I'm picturing a, a different colour blade of grass or a piece of mud or something like that. I'm going to have one looking at my, my blade of grass. Two, three, staring at it. Everything goes blurry around the, uh, around the grass, around the area I'm gonna land. Glance at the ball, stare at the spot. That's really, really key. Stare at the spot, glance at the ball. The most important thing is that we're thinking how we're gonna play the shot, not worrying about whether we're gonna strike the ball properly. So stare at the spot, stare at my spot. As I have my practice swings. So there we go. Walk to the ball, glance at the ball to set up, stare at my spot again, glance at the ball, and then we go. Okay, 
So that's just run out a little bit too far, but that's okay. So that the purpose of, the, of, of this exercise is to try and get a feel for how much the ball runs out with the different clubs. If I would have got it in the zone, I would have got a point. I didn't get it in the zone, so I get no points, but I go to the next zone. So the most important thing is I put the club down, walk to get the ball, and bring the ball back, put it back in the position where I just played the shot, and go through the process again, but to the second, second zone. The reason why I don't want to keep a club in my hand when I do that is because I've made a conscious decision then, or even a subconscious then, that I've got the club in my hand, so I'm now picturing how I'm gonna play the shot with that club. We wanna try and switch it round. So we look at where we wanna play, where we wanna land the ball, how much it's gonna run out, choose the club then, so you fit the club into the shot, not the shot into the club. Okay, so if, we, if I had a club in my hand, I'm, I'm picturing how I'm gonna play the shot and fit the shot into the club, and I don't wanna do that when I'm chipping. So again, next to the ball, I then feel it, right, so where am I gonna land it? I might now go up to a nine iron, okay? Because I wanna, wanna land it in a similar position, but I want it to roll out a little bit more. So I'm picking my nine iron, looking at my landing spot. One, stare at the spot, stare at the spot, walk to the ball, glance at the ball to set up, stare at my spot, glance at the ball, and then I go. Okay, perfect. I get a point. One point, club goes back, and so on. And I will try and do that for every 10 zones that I'm playing here. So I've got 11 tees, there's 10 zones. So I pick the ball up, put the ball back again, and then I go to the third. And I continue going on. So if you can imagine, every time I go up that zone, I'm gonna be taking a longer club. I might choose a different tool. So. Let's say, you know, we're gonna to go to the back zone now. Okay, so I'm gonna miss out a few, and we're gonna to go to the back zone. But I'm still gonna land the ball before that first tee peg. Okay, really, really important. Don't start thinking I'm now gonna land the ball further up. Now, there's a reason for that. If I pick a lofty club, and I try and land the ball halfway up the, the, uh, the tees there, halfway up the green, I've gotta choose a much more, you know, very lofty club. I've gotta choose a, uh, a pitching wedge or a sand wedge or 52, something like that, 56. And I've got to hit the ball quite hard. That's more effort from me. Okay, remember, it was minimum effort we want, maximum club. But if I put in more effort, the tendency is if I was to miss strike, which I might, I might thin it slightly. And if I thin the ball, it's gonna go miles over the back of the green because I'm putting more effort in. I've got, I've got more momentum in the club, which makes it go further. Okay, so I'm looking at where I'm gonna land it. Before the first tee peg, we, we get the, the ball on the green as quickly as we possibly can. And I'm going to pick a club which is going to do much, much more work. So I'm going to pick a six iron. So six iron's our tool for this. Let's try it. Now the great thing with this is I don't have to hit it very hard. Stay at my spot again. Stay at my spot. Stay at my spot. Set up. Glance at the ball. Stay at my spot. Glance. And then I go. And you can see... That's run up right into that back zone there. Just about managed to get a point there. But I didn't have to hit the ball very hard. And, and that's, the, that's the ultimate thing is that, is that minimum effort. I'm not putting lots of effort in to get the, the ball to the hole. If I thin it slightly then, it's still going to end up pretty much where I want the ball to end up. I'm not, I'm not going to be thinning over the back of the groom. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's a really, really easy way of chipping. You know what? You, you could even use... A hybrid. A hybrid is a great, great, great club to use. You can even use a three wood. I've seen some tour players use three woods, especially on these Lynx courses. We've got the British Open coming up. Lynx golf courses, they get the ball on the ground as quickly as possible, get it running, and then they start reading the green a bit, um, like, like they would a putt. It's a really easy way of chipping. Um, if you enjoyed the video um, and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, um, and comment down below if there's anything you want me to cover. Um, anything that, that you might need a bit of help with, I'm willing to do that. Enjoy your golf.